Blessed day, my people. So in today's video, I have two topics to talk about, Zane. And the first one more I want to talk about is Skilly Bang. This in the YouTuber named Terradon. I'm pretty sure most of you guys are supposed to be familiar with Terradon. Because theme name has been calling a lot as it relates to the next topic I'm going to talk about as well, which is Silk Boss. Basically exposing Terradon. Now, I'm not picking up for Silk Boss, you know, people. I just want to make that clear. But he actually did two interviews. Zane, he did one with, um, what them name? Nightly Fix. And he also did one with Winford Williams on stage and that is the one we're going to talk about even though we're going to talk about some other things as well it's all my people but before I'm going to further down in the video I ask you to kindly hit that like button and also subscribe if you're not subscribed you understand make sure you turn the notification bell on to keep up to date so as I drop a new video you get notified is it my people so as I say I'm going to talk about Skilly Bang first this in terror done and of course you know some more time you see some artists this some YouTuber or some bloggers is because them not like certain things where the blog say about a song or them feel like say the blog enough fair try size up with them and stuff like that we see it happen many times where some artists always a style of the blogger them me not agree with that none at all you understand even though sometimes you have some bloggers who come out and say certain things about the artists and you can't expect the artist to react or feel away especially when you're a, a blogger where have whole heap of people subscribe to you you can definitely get the word out there you understand people so that's the case with skilly bang at this terror than right now i'm gonna actually read an article so you guys get an understanding of why Skilly Bang actually this terror than, and you guys can tell me anything about it in the comment section and we're going to talk about it a little bit as well you understand people so this is where the article say Skilly Bang claps back at Terra Dan over accusation of buying views as if he wasn't under enough pressure from the feud with his ex artist Silk Boss. Dancehall producer and YouTuber Terra Dan seems to have just gained a new enemy in Skilly Bang. In the response to being accused of buying views to guarantee the success of his latest release, Wap Wap, the Crocodile T DJ took to Instagram on Sunday to call out Terror. Never buy views from me, know myself, and nobody can buy none gimme either. Skilly Bang wrote in the since deleted Instagram post, Wap Wap is the first release from Skilly Bang since his official signing to RCA Records. According to YouTube charts, Skilly Bang received over 700,000 views from Trinidad and Tobago over the last seven days. Wap Wap video was partly filmed on the Twin Island Republic. In the nine days, the track has racked up almost 2 million views total, although the response from the listeners have been very mixed, with some claiming that the song isn't deserving of its popularity. It appears Terradon agrees. In the clip Skilly posted to Instagram a short while ago, Terra is heard saying, the man song nearly reached a million views and no time with the amount of credit card, you know. At Terra Dan, you know say from you and such man start link, all you tried to mash up my career, Skilly responded in his caption, which did not specify which of Terra Dan's new acquaintances seemed to be inciting this behavior. Skilly Bang continued, my talent unbelievable too, no don't. It too easy for Skilly Bang, don't. Every time you try to dash my me still run a place. Such just avoid unstoppable greatness. Where the man them where did a hype up say him are the wickedest them. Them one bag of lyrics they nah do nothing for them. My turn again. Wap wap. I am number one and will always be number one. Big up Vibes Cartel for being a teacher to me. Study and your music will pass your studio door. He added, this is the first time Terra Dan has been accused of attempting to destroy an artist. His ongoing feud with ex client Silk Boss and Girlfriend Bree has reached the point of him being accused of leaking their triplex tape during an interview yesterday. Known for his string of breakout hits including Brick Palm Brick and Mr. Universe, Skilly Bang has risen above many other hopeful in the space his crocodile teeth remix with Nicki Minaj which was released in May 2021 had marked the first time a Jamaican dancehall artist entered the Billboard Hot 100 since Sean Paul entries in the 2017 with Enrique Iglesias collaboration titled Sombrella Radio alright people so basically Skilly being upset because Terror Dan say he may buy views because the song Wap Wap it reach a million views in no time. You understand, people? And the song is on its way. Or the video, I should I say, is on its way to reach 2 million views. That song, Wap Wap, I'm not telling you a lie, that is not really a bad song to me. You understand what I say, people? But at the end of the day, we can't deny Skilly Bang as a bad artist. You understand what I say? Very talented youth and thing. And to be honest, I will not say that he actually bought views for Wap Wap. Why? Because we see whole heap of time some songs when I really make it to we actually go viral. Why them go viral? because people use them as memes and all of them type of thing there is it me can't sit down and say wap wap i want a skilly bang body song remember what i 
about the man who put out crocodile teeth, you know. Remember what about the man who put out brick palm brick. When you remember them song there, brick palm brick and Mr. Universe, them type of song there. So if we if we even compare, me never feel like say this in a the top ten song, um in a skilly bang top ten best song. You understand what I mean? I say not even top twenty to be honest. Me just not really find the song amusing. The, the man also an half key to me, even though you don't know say sometimes artists do that thing there. It it it's done on purpose then. You understand what I mean? I say even the other youth were in the song so an half key and them thing about as me say maybe that was intentional or maybe me need to listen to the song some more because I am not the biggest person or the best person as it relates to breaking down music and all of them things. You understand? Me just listen to music and if it sound good, it sound good. If it no sound good, it no sound good. You understand? And me know that Teradan might be wrong as it relates to Skilly Bang buying views, but me know that him is not the only person who feels that Skilly Bang buy views. You understand? Because most persons don't like that shock. You understand what I say? And Skilly Bang, you're a good artist, but if you listen to a majority of the people, I say, them don't like the song. You understand? I don't know if people are telling you, yo, the song bad and them things about. I have to be honest, the song, it just, I don't know people. I don't want it to sound like my bad mind, the artist or nothing, but I don't like it. You understand what I say? I mean, the rhythm is alright, you know, but I just now feel the wap, wap, wap. I just now feel it. It does sound like a gimmick song. You understand what I say? So, I don't know. That's just my personal opinion and thing. And. You know, Terra Dan say what you have to say. And at least he might be honest, he not be a hype man or nothing. You understand what I say? Not say that he's correct, you know, people. But I say at least he's being honest. You understand? But let me know what you guys think about this. Do you think that Skilly Bang is actually buying views? And are you a person who actually like that Wap Wap song? You understand what I say? The video all right still, you know. The video can go on. And I like the video. <laughs> but I just not too really like the song. I be honest. You see more people. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about Silk Boss versus Terodan. You see it, people. And I'm going to get into an article before me even start saying what I have to say about this. And I want to listen to this article and also tell me what you think about this in the comment section. You see me? So it says, Silk Boss talks new management, surgery and reggae sunfest on onstage TV. Dancehall recording artist Silk Boss was recently featured on onstage TV with Winford Williams, where he gave an update on his music career, his new management team, and then closed off his segment with an emotional performance for his soon-to-be-released song titled Surgery. The entertainer informed Winford that since his last appearance on the show in October 2021, his career skyrocketed. He mentioned that he has recorded hits singles and has even gone on tour in the United Kingdom for about three weeks where he did quite a number of shows. The Mankind artist declared that despite the fame and exposure that he has received through music, he has maintained true to himself and his supporters to ensure that timeless music is produced in order to stay relevant in the music industry. During the interview, Winford questioned him about his sudden change of management team and producers. Without revealing much information, the artist disclosed that things did not work out and went on to say that a loyal timiado, no fitness. All right. Me and your G and me and your fallout, will you try and tarnish my career or wish me better for me because of the fallout? That Salma officer was a rhetorical question Silk Boss posed to Winford, which has speculated that the entertainer is referring to his recent back-to-back -back arguments on social media between him and previous management Terra Dan. The Montego Bay artist then changed the topic and spoke of his new and upcoming song titled Surgery, which is due for release on Friday. He voiced that the lyrics for his song came from the pain and emotions that he was going through at the time in his life he shared that he gave too many people chances and access to his heart which they used to their advantage and hurt him in the process a verse in the song he then used to describe the pain and betrayal is my heart are hurt me yo dog right now me need a surgery for them love no worthy the same one me put me trust in I him end up hurt me the entertainer asserted that he is focused on his new music and expressed that he is in a more comfortable surrounding therefore will be doing more songs he mentioned that he has used the negative publicity that he has gotten in recent times to steer his career in a positive direction Silbas added that taking the negative and turning it into a positive was something that was instilled in him by his mother and the recent controversy that circulated in the media was strategically used to boost his career by writing a song about it though not directly confirmed by the entertainer Winford asked Silbas if he will be performing at the upcoming Reggae Sunfest 2022, to which he responded, Sunfest is a good luck man, gonna make the music talk for me. 
Yeah, Zaid people. So that's our silk boss officer. Zaid people, and of course, him have new management now. And basically, him get rid of Terodan. You understand what I say? And this back and forth with him and Terodan, I feel like say, the artists, them, Zaid, even upcoming artists, should always learn to make sure they so deal with the, the, like deal with things on a professional level. Nobody no want to sign up paper and them type of thing there. That is why you even see people and people end up in an argument and them can't even go to court. And you understand because they never sign no form of contract. Me no business if you're a man a friend, always deal with things on a professional level. You understand what me I say? Because what you know, we see silk boss I come out and I say, terror than rob him how much money. You understand him get how much million views on YouTube and terror than only give him 120 US dollar or say that alone he make half of the, half of the views them and thing. You understand people? And if you depend on YouTube, Trust me, if you get 6 million views on a song, a whole heap of money you get off of the song. I'm not telling a lot of people. You understand? But you don't know, say, I can't directly tell you know, how much money I feel like they make off of it. But at the end of the day, I know way more than $120. Now, I'm just saying that um, Terror Dan tell him, you know, him never say, him never show no proof then. You understand what I say? Terror Dan come out now and say, yo, him no, him no have no money for him, him give him all of the money. And you don't know there's this back and forth right about now. But he is saying that Terror Dan basically don't like him girlfriend Bree because she make him know, say, yo, the money they were Terror tell you, say, yo, rate it. A wrong money that because she is a smart girl who have YouTube and you don't know when you're on YouTube and you have a monetized page, you, you kind of get an understanding of how them pay you and stuff like that. You understand? But Silbas is a youth, him claims he never know say YouTube pay you, which me, me feel like he might exaggerate this because so everybody's supposed to know say people are make money off of YouTube. You understand what I say? So I believe that. When him actually said that during an interview with Nightly Fix, he never know say you can make money off of YouTube. You understand? But either way, you know, breathe there as a girl where, you know, seem like she didn't when he loved the youth and thing. Enough people are calling him girl clone. And me don't know people. Me can't say the youth a girl clone because me don't know none of them personally. And, you know, everybody have them fights and them moments and them things. So, People are calling him girl clone because he have one girl and people are painting the picture say she's a girl who sleep with a whole heap of, like them one say she a groupie then and because him a wife are up, you understand? But as far as me know, me not really see her with no bagger artist. Him are the only artist me see her with and she used to talk to her next youth with the YouTube. Me see name. Me never want to call him name but you understand? If you not watch her a long time and thing, you would not know who me are talking about. So, otherwise, I'm that. I don't really know her as a group, and I don't defend Silk Boss, I don't defend Terror Dan, I just talk about women and see. Because right now, I see a whole heap of people, are, you know, I share for them views on it. Some people are disop Silk Boss, some people are disop Terror Dan. So, I don't know people. If you don't know what I'm going on, you can tell me in the comment section who you don't believe. If you don't believe that Silk Boss was being robbed by Terror Dan, I don't feel like say, Silk Boss made the woman a control. I understand. Terror than even make a comment or say, or him go live or something. I don't remember, but basically, he must say, um, Silk Boss, I give the whole line money to Bree. You understand what I say? And, ah, oh boy, even if I so still, you know, a fee money, if you want to give the whole line to him, woman, I saw it about, you know, if the youth put out songs, him fear get paid for him songs, them and stuff like that. You see me? And him also talk about Terror Dan did a whole him YouTube channel hostage, take it away from him and thing. I don't know if him actually get it back yet. But hopefully, if Terror Dan have it, give the youth him YouTube channel. You understand? And not because of you boss him in you know, a you bring him to the forefront and thing. That no means say if you try to get rid of him career and thing. You see me? Some things just not work out and you have to just let it go. You have your platform, make the youth have theme platform. You understand what I said? But it is what it is, people. Let me know what you guys think about all of this. You understand? Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn the bell on. Bless upon yourself and keep safe. I'm out.